welcome back to another episode of Come and See. Today we have with us Marlene, who was with us before, Andrew and Myrna, and I'm your host, Mariam Negi. Today's topic is one that is relatable to everyone of all ages. Um, we'll be talking about stress and maybe how to deal with it. And we have a psychologist's opinion on stress and burnout. <laughs> So we would love to hear from all three of our guests today. Marlene, I would love to hear a little bit about stress from your perspective as a student. Okay, well, as a student, we have a lot of stress and pressure to get the right grades, to, get, to be a straight-A student and to study a lot and to just, with all the homework, it's a lot of stress. And the way I deal with it is I like to like listen to music and prioritize my time so that I have an agenda and I know what I'm doing exactly when so that I'm not lost all the time. I'm like, oh, I don't have enough time to do this. And it, it just, it's a lot more organized when I, have, when I know what I'm doing when. So I was actually, I recently finished my master's degree. So I was, <laughs> a, I think, um, a full-time mom, a full-time employee, full-time student, and so on. So I can definitely talk a little bit about being stressed out because of grades, because I always thought that I needed that 4.0. I had to have that 4.0. And with everything else going on in my life, it was a little much, to say the least, um, especially with having a full-time job and having um, a really young son and so on. So um, I would love to hear from our professional psychologists. <laughs> How do you deal with stress? I mean, I feel like there are similar ways, regardless of your age, mm -hmm. to deal with something like this. Mm -hmm. So stress, you can deal with it in two different, very different ways. You can either go the route of trying to better your life and better your stressful situation, or you can go the route of trying to better it, but in turn, you're actually hindering yourself and sometimes, in some cases, your health. Okay. Um, we can start with hindering your health. Okay. Right now, I work, and at the time, um, I just recently finished my master's as well. I was going to school full-time, working full-time. Any chance I had to actually enjoy my free time, I would want to go out with my friends dancing, we'd have a few drinks, stuff like that. Or it even got to the daily basis where, oh, I'm done with work, let's go out for a drink right now. Like, I need, I need a few drinks. But is that really helping my, my situation? It's not, because I have to go back to it in the morning. Okay. I didn't change my perspective of the situation. I didn't change anything. Nothing to better the situation. So in turn, instead of doing that, what you can do is maybe exercise which releases the hormones in your body that, makes, that make you happier. Okay. You can... I heard that chocolate does that too. It, it does. <laughs> so it you does. can eat more chocolate. <laughs> Exercise and chocolate, maybe together. <laughs> um, you can also, you can meditate. Something that helps you change the way you think. So that way when you approach, and I really like the idea of meditation because it helps calm your body down in a way that when you approach the same stressful situation the next time, you're actually able to kind of take a step back and say, oh, instead of thinking this way, I can think about it in this way. I'm not going to let this particular stressful situation stress me out. I'm just going to take a step back and think about it first before I react. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sounds deep. <laughs> I've been doing it wrong all the time. <laughs> well, uh, hearing from a professional uh, expert, I think that was really um, useful to me. Uh, thanks for adding all this. Uh, exactly. Well, first of all, let me say this. Uh, sitting among three pretty ladies already stressed enough, so uh, I can't tell you how stress feels like, but that's not the topic now. It's like, um, stress is, I think, uh, as... Uh, uh, young uh, adult, uh, stress can be handled a lot of different ways. I can tell you what I've been doing wrong, and I guess I will start doing the right thing. Okay. But I think when someone stressed out for many reasons, such as work, study, and we can na uh, name a lot of things that you can you can't avoid yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. Exactly. But how to deal with the stress? People can. Um, 
I, w- I would look at it from actually two perspectives, one religious way and one from practical way. Okay. The religious way, we can say, okay, I would talk to that person, I would hold my phone, checking my Facebook or anything, and then I would go to the kitchen, try to eat something. Go and s- uh, that's actually Buna Dawood Lami who mentioned that. So keep yourself distracted? Yes. Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Okay. And you try to do a lot of things and you can go and uh, get some fresh air and smoke some whatever. Smoke. I'm sure Abuna did not say smoke. No. <laughs> actually, uh, he mentioned that, but he said you can uh, breathe air, breathe yes. anything else. Yes, yes, yes. That's what he mentioned. Mm-hmm. I remember that very well, but we forget about who we should talk to. Okay. We can simply go and close our door and talk to that one that who can solve all the stress. I'm not that religious. So I'm pray too. about it. Pray. You mm-hmm. don't have to actually pray. Uh, I mean, that would raise the question to me that how to pray. That's a different topic. But simply just go and talk to God as your friend. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't have to actually pray. That There's a clown that he didn't know how to pray. Um, it's a well-known also story. He didn't know what to do except doing some circus move in, uh, in front of the picture of Sammy and, and people making fun of him. But he didn't stop. He started sweating and continue and continue. And people got mad and making fun of him, but they all couldn't say anything when they saw Samir come out of the picture and swipe down his Wipe sweat. His and sweat. It, yeah, wipes down his sweat. So that's the point. We can just go and talk to the person who can solve this issue. So and even if you don't know how to pray, do talk. it in your own way. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Just talk to the, the one that who can solve it. It's simple as this. I'm okay. not sure. Uh, from out, from my from my point of view, I think that's practical, uh, um, and he control everything. Um, and again, uh, this is a religious way, practical way. I think exercising maybe uh, can do better way than doing a lot of bad things. Okay. <laughs> like okay. just hang around and smoke on our yeah a lot of bad habits that can we think can solve it, but it will not. So there are two ways to do it. You could distract yourself either by positive things or negative things. And you're saying that we could, both of you, I think we're coming to the point that we could distract ourselves in a positive way, mm-hmm. okay, by either exercising or meditating or maybe volunteering or doing something else like that. Marlene, you were talking a little bit about how you deal with stress when it comes to school and so on. Did you find that there was a difference in doing the spiritual way? As they have already mentioned, there's a spiritual way and there is a more, you know, a different way or a social way. Do you feel like there was a difference between the two? Because you mentioned all, the, you know, all great ways of keeping your time organized, prior to having a priority and so on. Yeah, I feel like there are completely different ways of meditating, of like dealing with stress. Okay. Like Myrna said, and like Andrew said, you could meditate and you could pray and do all of those things. So it's all, everybody has a different way of dealing with stress. It just depends on the person and how they like kind of relax and calm themselves down. It's just it's different for everyone. So Myrna, I want to ask you about this. If stress is not dealt with, in a correct way, what could happen? Because I know you concentrated on burnouts yes. when you were studying. I did. I concentrated on um, counselor burnout, and okay. specifically because it's the most stressful of most of the clinical jobs. It's the most stressful. Um, but on a day-to-day basis, we're not counseling people. But that doesn't mean we don't deal with stress because stress is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find it at school, church, work, family, literally under the pillow. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so the negative effects it can have on you, both mentally and physically. One, when you let stress affect you, you don't know how to deal with stress. Mm-hmm. You're, not letting, you're not learning how to deal with stress. Okay. okay. So negatively, it can affect you physically by, it can increase your, your heart rate, it can cre- increase your cholesterol, um, it blood increases pressure? blood pressure, it increases your risk for heart disease. Okay. Um, it, and other than that, it leads you to bad habits. A lot of times, when you think of stress, you're not, your first reaction is not to, oh, let me go talk to Abuna. Oh, let me go, um, I don't know, 
out and get some fresh air. That's not usually people's first thing. It's usually like, oh, let me go have a drink. Okay. And I'm, you know, I'm talking in general, okay. not anyone specific. Um, and that's kind of how it is. You just have to, you have to learn to deal with it because it can have negative effects on you. And it has negative effects on your body mentally. It can lead to depression. And when it's untreated, depression can lead to burnout. And when you get to burnout, you're kind of at a point where you don't want to deal with anybody. You don't want to deal with anything. You don't even want to deal with yourself. So what you need to do is stop it before it even gets to that point. So my Everybody, next question mm -hmm. was going to be about burnout. Once you reach that stage of being burned out and not wanting to deal with mm -hmm. anyone else, how do you go back? How do you remedy that? Oh, that takes time. But life still goes on. Life still so goes you're on. still studying, you're still going to work, you're still dealing with your family and friends and so on. How do you go back? That, that, could, that might need to take like clinical steps. Okay. You might actually need to reach out for professional help at that point. Okay. If you've reached the point of burnout, you're not only negatively hurting yourself, but it gets to the point where you do need professional help. Okay. It's hard to come back from that. It's not impossible, obviously, but you do need help. And a lot of people can't do it on their own. So in your professional opinion, mm -hmm. <laughs> what are some practical ways, other than obviously you said meditation mm -hmm. and exercise, that you can use to relieve some of the stress in your life? Honestly, it's as simple as listening to your favorite song. Okay. Spending time with people you love. Um, spending time with your family, your friends. Having a conversation with somebody that you enjoy, reading a book. If you have a hobby, do it. I like to read. I love to read. And I also like to crochet. So when I'm feeling stressed, <laughs> I'll grab something and start crocheting. Or, or I'll pick up. Actually, my favorite thing is to, because I really like to read, I, I like going to the library. Okay. Just being surrounded by that many books, is, it has the, a calming effect on me that I can't replicate anywhere else. Okay. It's really that simple. Do something you enjoy. Okay. It'll, it'll reduce your stress. And Andrew, as a young adult, what do you say to other gentlemen? Uh, what advice do you give them? Okay, so um, everyone has been in the stress situation before. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's stress. Life is stress nowadays, and no, wonder, no one can deny that. Um, I, I actually need help uh, with some stress, but I'm not going to take it to... Uh, to that it will affect my work and my future. I have to focus. I think uh, uh, Listening to others is very important um, I think also stress doesn't have to deal with just being busy Maybe you're stressed about one thing only and you have a lot of spare time that makes you actually stress about that thing Because you're thinking about, about it that, uh, all the so, time. Mm -hmm. So I think spare time is is like really killing um, it's making it really worse. So, so keep yourself busy. Make, make, yeah, that's good, but not make it to this easy that the level of make it more <laughs> yeah because that can, can be easily happen. Yeah. But yeah, at the same time, make your uh, as uh, Myrna mentioned, um, make yourself practice a good hobby, uh, read, listen to music. Um, and I think that would be... Um, I think Brenna also said eat more chocolate. Oh, yes. <laughs> eat more chocolate. How, how I, I didn't actually say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Marlene, as a student, and obviously dealing with finals and exams all the time and papers and so on, what is your advice? I would say to definitely, definitely organize your time. And mm -hmm. To try to spend, don't like spend all of your time studying or doing homework. Try to take some time, give yourself some free time to relax, to read a book, to exercise, to do anything other than studying because sometimes you just need to get your mind off things to relax more. So I think everyone here agrees that in order to deal with stress correctly, you obviously have um, to deal with it immediately. You need to step back from the situation that you're in and all the stressful situations around you mm -hmm. and just calm yourself, think about what you need to do and start doing other things that will alleviate that stress. So like they said, find a hobby that you love to do, maybe hang out with your family, read and so on. But just find one thing that can relieve all that stress and then 
you go back to dealing with life because life will always go on. Thank you so much thank for you. being here with us today. Don't forget the chocolate. Yes, and <laughs> eat more chocolates. And thank you for being with us in another episode of Come and See.